Well, this is Project Ultimate uh, 1983 Rabbit GTI update number four. I was working last night stripping down the wiring. I'm about to take the remains of these front harnesses and cut them all open and separate the wires I'll want from the ones I don't because there's a lot of stuff I don't want and pull out the remaining uh, front brake lines and then I'm kind of done stripping the front and can get on with cleaning up that front bit. Um, the interior's all been stripped entirely and uh, I've been getting rid of the final bits of seam sealer and uh, that nasty black uh, um, sound uh, deadening material that was uh, everywhere and the original owner left me a present of some very nasty carpet adhesive that he'd used to put the carpet back down that had never dried so I had to freeze it and then uh, scrape it out and uh, so anyway, I got, uh, got everything done. It's uh, a little more work in the back than I thought it would be to get it done, but it, it did get it done. Uh, and then the roof line is ready to, I'm gonna do some bracing up there. I'm gonna build sort of a little bit of a, a hidden roll cage. There's a number of opportunities to sort of stiffen the roof without adding too much weight. Stiffen the B-pillar area a little bit and um, put some uh, new sheet metal in where the, where the rust is and um, also, instead of using tape everywhere, VW used tape on all these little holes in the frame, these access frames. I think I'm gonna, for the most part, I, I may actually weld them up, we'll see. So we're ready to, ready to rock on uh, welding pretty soon. I'm gonna have to just uh, uh, prime using some weld through self-etching primer. And uh, then uh, I'm gonna start the process of uh, repairing and removing rust and uh, as soon as that's done then uh, you know that'll take a while but when that's done then the thing starts coming back together which is going to be uh, awesome right I'll get to paint it and uh, you know everything becomes a forward arrow of progress okay